Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another ink comparison video and this is Mont Blanc ink comparisons number one. So I think let's go and swab up these inks. The first ink is Mont Blanc and it's a special edition or limited edition ink and it is called Lucky Orange. So the first ink, let's swab up here. This is one of my favorites and I think you can see why. I do like orange inks a lot and this is a very vibrant colored ink. And I just love this orange. So we'll just do a second pass there. We'll leave a little bit of an area there. So this is Mont Blanc. And it's Lucky Orange. But this for me is a really beautiful orange ink that I do love writing with a lot. The only issue is a lot of orange inks can go a little bit crusty in your pens and also in the bottles or on around the rims of the bottles and Lucky Orange is no exception to that unfortunately. It does actually go quite crusty but it's a beautiful orange ink to use. The next ink is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. And this is just a regular edition. Uh, this is now actually sold out. Uh, Mont Blanc are no longer making these inks, uh, the Corn Poppy Red anyway. Uh, they have a new lineup for 2020 and beyond. Um, I do hope they bring Corn Poppy Red back, but I did buy, uh, I want to say, five bottles of Corn Poppy Red. I had about half a bottle left, and I decided I needed to stock up on these. So let's do an ink swatch here. So you might be able to see why I like this red. It's quite a bright, vibrant red when it comes onto the paper. I'll do a second swab there just so you can see, but it's, it's a really beautiful red. And it's just one that I love. So <laughs> that's why I decided to, to buy five bottles in the end. So this is Mont Blanc. And it's Corn Poppy Red. But I have to say that is very high up on my list of favorite red inks. It's just a really beautiful red popping sort of poppy ink. The next ink is Mont Blanc and it's Oyster Grey. And again, it's in another one of these uh, large shoe size bottles. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this was a grey that I bought because I was really loving Diamine Earl Grey and I honestly don't know why I decided I wanted another grey because I really love Diamine Earl Grey. But I decided that I think I had a voucher for what essentially was a, f a number of free bottles of Mont Blanc um, off of eBay. So I decided I would go and buy Oyster Grey. And as much as I really want to love it, I don't love it as much as Diamine Earl Grey. I find it a little bit more on the watery side. So this is Mont Blanc. And it's Oyster grey but there's nothing wrong with the color of the ink i just find it a little bit more of a sort of i don't know a, a little bit more of a faded gray and it just seems to be quite watery the next ink is mont blanc and it's lavender purple which is a really lovely purple ink so we'll do an ink swatch here And I guess this also is a little bit more on the watery side. It has the same kind of sort of properties, I would say, in terms of 
wetness to oyster grey. So this is Mont Blanc and it's lavender and it's purple. And again, like, I don't know why I do this, but I love Diamine Majestic Purple, and I thought I would explore a little bit more, see if I could find some more purple inks that I like, and I decided I would buy Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. And although it's not one of my favorite purple inks, it does rate up there quite highly, and I do use it quite a lot. But I still prefer Diamine Majestic Purple. The next ink is Mont Blanc Irish Green, again in another one of the full size shoe bottles. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now I do have to say that this is quite a favourite of mine. It's just a green that to me is a lovely green. It's a mid green. Although when it goes on wet, it tends to go a little bit darker. But it's just a beautiful green. And I think actually it really sort of makes sense to call this Irish green. So this is Mont Blanc. And this is Irish green. Uh, that is a lovely green ink. The next ink is Mont Blanc and it's Toffee Brown. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, again, this is another one of my Mont Blanc staple inks. It's just an ink that I do love a lot. Along with Corn Poppy Red, Irish Green and Lucky Orange. So this is Mont Blanc and it's Toffee Brown. But you can see there, it's a really lovely brown ink. Now, the last Mont Blanc ink that I have here came in this shoe box and this came with a Mont Blanc 149 that I bought, purchased second hand. And this is Tint Encre Tinta Ink. And uh, I believe this is the original mystery blue. Uh, and it's more of a, like a blue black. And I think it might even be iron gold. So we'll do an ink swatch. And initially you think, well, okay, maybe this is just a regular blue. Maybe just a hint of blue black. Now, I do find that this is a little bit more on the dry side, so I'm going to do a second pass there so you can see the difference. So, this is Mont Blanc. And I believe it's Mystery Blue. Unfortunately, there is no name on the bottle. So, I'm going to go with Mystery Blue. I know a lot of people have told me that it is Mystery Blue. So I'm going to go with that, and I apologize if it's not Mystery Blue. So I think let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So we have Mont Blanc Lucky Orange, and this really is a beautiful, bright, vibrant, poppy orange. It really is beautiful. Now, it doesn't have a lot of shading going on, and it doesn't have any sheening going on either. The next ink we have is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. And you can see quite a bit of difference there, like with Mont Blanc Lucky Orange, in terms of how wet the nib is and how dry it is. You can see a difference in the lightness color of the ink. Uh, in terms of shading properties, there's not a lot of shading going on with Mont Blanc Poppy Red, Corn Poppy Red, uh, and there's no sheening whatsoever. The next thing is Mont Blanc Oyster Grey, and this is really a mid-grey, I would say. 
Um, again, not a lot of shading, no sheening going on either. Um, I guess you can see a little bit more when the nib would be wetter versus dry, perhaps. Then you can see a bit there. The next thing is Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. And again, really not a lot of shading going on. But it's a really nice purple ink. I typically like purples a little bit more darker than this. So as much as I do like Lavender Purple, I do prefer Diamine Majestic Purple. The next ink is Mont Blanc Irish Green. And you can see the difference there. A huge difference between what would be a dark versus... Well, wet versus a um, sort of dry writing nib. Uh, again, not a lot of shading going on, really. No sheening going on there either. The next ink is Mont Blanc Toffee Brown, which, again, is another favourite of mine. Um, you don't see a huge amount there, really, between the um, sort of wet versus dry parts. Maybe just a slightly lighter colour, but not... Anything that is massively different there. Uh, no real shading as such. No sheening either. And then we have Mont Blanc Mystery Blue. And you can see a huge difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Uh, not a lot of shading really going on there either. Uh, no sheening whatsoever. So you can see there really that... Most of these uh, Mont Blanc inks that I have here today that are in my collection of inks don't shade a lot and don't have sheening properties. Now, there are a huge amount of Mont Blanc limited edition inks I do not have as well. Um, I haven't tried any of those, so I don't know if they are very similar in the sense that they don't shade and they don't sheen. Um, I do like Mont Blanc inks, I have to say. My ultimate favourite is Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. I have four bottles of that, uh, followed by Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. Uh, and then I'd say probably Mont Blanc Toffee Brown is probably the next one. And then Mont Blanc Irish Green, Mont Blanc Lavender Purple, and then Oyster Grey. And I really don't use Mystery Blue. Um, I, I'm not a really a blue-black fan, so... Uh, in terms of ink colours, so I just, it's just not like a, an ink that I would use a lot, but maybe I should try and start using it a little bit more, and maybe I might actually become to like it a little bit more. So that's my comparison of the Mont Blanc inks, comparison number one. If there are any inks here that you have that you like, then do let me know in the comments below. And if likewise there are any inks I haven't shown here that you do have or do like, then let me know in the comments below. So that's my Mont Blanc inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.